So what's up everybody, how are you guys doing today? So yeah, uh, this is a second video about a second severe thunderstorm and effect for Saskatchewan. But this time, it's not in Swift Current or Maple Creek, it's in what we say, Estevan. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a, what we say, a news which is like five hours ago, severe thunderstorm watch issued for Estevan area. <clears throat> I'm gonna search it for you. Conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms in the southeast that may be capable of producing strong wind gusts, larger and heavy rain. An area of thunderstorms will develop over southeastern Saskatchewan and southwestern Manitoba this afternoon. Some some of, some of way Mitch, I mean some of which may become severe. These storms will push east through the afternoon and evening. The main threats will be strong winds, large hail, and heavy rain with the possibility of an isolated tornado. Large hail can damage property and cause injury. Strong wind gusts can toss loose objects, damage weak buildings, break branches of trees, and overturn large vehicles. Severe thunderstorms can be capable of producing tornadoes. Heavy downpours can cause flash floods and water pouring on roads. Lightning kills and injures Canadians every year. And one thing I forgot to tell you guys is that this afternoon I posted a video saying that there's a rainfall warning. 60 millimeters of rain is expected in what we say there was a place I don't know but it was expected in Maple Creek I guess so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go in put in the van and never mind guys the threatening weather conditions are no longer expected or have ended over these areas so guys the thunderstorm have ended in Saskatchewan at first I thought the thunderstorm is gonna last forever. By the way, there are some gray clouds. There are some gray clouds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not actually confirmed if the storm is ended. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to the places like what we say that are nearby or near Estevan. Like Regina is like one hour away from Estevan. So yeah. So yeah. Weyburn is also included in the warning, so let me check Weyburn. And if it's not in Saskatchewan, if it's not in Saskatchewan, then it's moving on. Yep, it's moving on, I guess. But let me check the weather for Oxbow because it's a little nearby. Yep, guys. Now it's moving on to Oxbow, a place in Saskatchewan. So yeah, guys, before an Estevan, I'm gonna show you the weather for Estevan. Right here, it says that the threatening weather conditions are no longer expected or have ended over this area. So Estevan is safe, but there's this place, Oxbow in Saskatchewan. Oxbow, all right. So there's this severe thunderstorm right over here. So yeah, right over here. So from Oxbow, so let me check. Hold up, we are literally right over here guys. As we can see this trail, this blue line which is going towards our location. So let me open this map. We are literally in danger, I guess. It's closer to Moose Jaw, it's closer to Moose Jaw. What about White City? Weather in White City, because it's closer to Regina and there are some dark clouds. It's not in White City, but there was this place. What was this place? I Sorry, I forgot. So it was Fort Kiwapa and Indian Head. Indian Head is also like one hour's drive from Regina. Weather in Indian Head. Nope. And Fort Kiwapa. Nope. All right, bye guys. Take care. Guys, as we can see how dark the clouds are, as we can see in the camera, these are literally looking like tornado clouds. All right, so I take care. And also there's wind right over here, like wind.